structure, not structure. Yeah, see structure? Structure. So anywhere in between these movements changes that. So here, this zero actually equals your most strength. The hundred is your weakest point. Hundred is weak. And then as it goes, it gets stronger. The closer you get to your cross points. The closer to the triangle points. So it varies much of me. But I'm here and I'm changing the contact. In the middle of that triangle would be my weakness. Now, so real watch. These punches. I contact here. From here to any point. So say I go to here, in the middle of this is weak. See? But because I contacted here, it now has structure. This has structure. Okay? So these two points in movement. Now, if these are just two points, let's say right there. As he moves, these numbers will change. So as he moves, this weakness could now replace this <clears throat> as it's constantly moving because the body's moving. If Mary just throws a normal traditional punch, it stays right there. Right here. Structure. Everywhere I touch now, it's going to have some form of structure because it's going to naturally structure that. But when he punches and he rotates in movement, he can't keep that structure. Because these numbers, like the octagon, are constantly moving. So every time there's movement, these numbers will rotate and flip. Because, because your point is a contact in the triangle with this movement. Correct. Ultimately, this is what you are. You want to be the center of that triangle because you have the most strength and structure. So the center of your triangle is you. That makes you the ninth point of the octagon. So as a person's body is moving, now if you go with a basic movement of, of Barry, if Barry's punching me, right, and I make contact here, depending on where I connect his triangle to, there will be weakness in that movement. But once he contacts to this point, he then will structure to that point. So if I was to put pressure here, he's structured. Now as he moves again, that now becomes 100% of weakness. Now he'll structure this again, see? And he can stand up through this. It's the small window. So here's my window. Here's my curtains. Right here is my smallest point of, of dealing with my attacker or my intruder. So if I know by recess my contact points of strength, my 100% 100% equals weak. And as the, as, the, as the octagon moves and the triangle points move, then these numbers will flip and rotate through. They won't flip, they'll still um, like a uh, like an address book, I can rotate, what's that thing called? A Rolodex. A Rolodex. As this thing spins, the numbers will continuously flip. They'll stay in order as far as strength to weakness or weakness to strength. Okay, so if he's punching me, I make this contact movement, I'm here to here, well that's a weakness point. If he's punching in, I draw him here, these are my weakness points. He naturally wants to step, step. That's where he wants to go, so go back. So as he steps, I put him where he wants to be naturally so that his body has to collapse because of the 100% of weakness. Follow me on that a little bit? Does that make sense? Does that make sense a little bit? Okay. So if we're working a technique and I go here, I rolls the elbow up, elbow up, puts him on his heels. If he punches and I hit again, I draw, he goes on his toes. If he punches in, I put his elbow to this angle, his whole body goes to angle. If I intercept it here and I put it here, then all the way goes here. So if we deal with the elbow, angle one, two, three, four, gives me all different types of entries into where I want to put my attacker. If he's punching, I intercept and I put it up, 
he's already going to go on his heels. Okay, same thing, if I draw him, he's on his toes. So if I already know that, when I enter him, making those other movements through my triangle, if you know where 100% of weakness is constantly going to be, then you can manipulate your attacker easily. The only way you know that is to do what? Sure. If he punches, and I don't learn to get out of the way, I learn that hurts. If he punches, and I redirect that, I haven't manipulated his body, so he pushes through, and he has structure. So I learned that if I don't manipulate, he has structure, he can rotate, and it's going to hurt. If he punches, and I interrupt that rotation, then I accelerate that rotation, then I start to learn that all that posture constantly changes. Think of it as this. As, as I'm walking, my body has to come up, shift its weight, shift it back down. Every time my body shifts, I go into flight, and then I root. And then I flight, and then I root. So when Barry's punching me, all this posture here, he is in flight. As soon as that foot comes up, he's projecting his body forward. So if my timing's good, and I intercept this, then I intercept him at 100% of weakness. If my timing's off, and I intercept him here, I mean a wall of structure. If this side of the wall is structured, what's this side? Very weak. So then you just have to control and change the posture. Okay? Think of this as skipping a rock in water. Sometimes you throw and the rock skips perfect and looks beautiful. Sometimes you throw and you hear a big splash. Well, that big splash is you meant structure. Okay, does that make sense? So when you're dealing with the triangles, point of zero is what? complete strength and structure. As it goes to the center of the triangle of each point, in between each point of a triangle is your weakest point of that triangle. Okay? So for this being 100%, that's 100% of weakness. And 100% of weakness means as Barry's punching, I intercept this. Okay, see right there? Then right here, from here to this point to this point, this is 100% of weakness. I don't have to use much strength to put him down. If Barry's punching, see right here, this has structure, right? Feel that? But as soon as he starts to rotate, that structure goes to 100% zero. So when you're dealing with this angles of the triangle, you're also dealing with your octagon. I'm dealing with my octagon on the ground, I'm dealing with my octagon on Barry, and I'm dealing with my octagon constantly changing. And if Barry punches, I change my angle of my octagon, Right? Everything applies to that. Does that make sense? Alright, what do I think?